and now uh, we discussed about uh, we discussed about uh, how to represent a vector quantity in the form of algebra okay so first point is any vector quantity any vector quantities can denoted denoted by arrow arrow over a letter over a it means uh, Any vector quantity can be denoted arrow over a letter. It means uh, we denote uh, like an example like uh, we know that this is alphabet. Any vector quantity can be denoted by arrow over a letter. And now this is called a vector quantities. Okay. So more example. This is also called vector quantity, and this is also called Thomson. And uh, we also write like this: A B. It means this is also called a vector quantity. Okay. And uh, B C bar over a liter. Sorry, arrow over a liter, and uh, C D. And so on, many more. It is in there are many example. Okay, so vector quantity can be denoted by arrow over a letter. If we put arrow over a letter, then this is called a vector quantity. Okay, and uh, and. Uh, we can also denote a vector quantity any vector quantities can be denoted by denoted by bar bar over a letter you can also write like this bar over a letter means example um this is called bar bar over a letter this uh, this is also uh, denote that this is a vector quantity it means uh, if we uh, if we apply a bar over a letter then uh, it is also called a vector quantity and uh, vector quantity also uh, vector quantity can be denoted by bar over a letter and uh, arrow we can also denote with the help of arrow c bar over a letter and uh, and many more etc and we can also denote, denote a vector quantity with the help of bold faced letter okay um <coughs> uh, any vector quantity quantities can be can be denoted denoted by 
bore face letter we can also denote a uh, vector quantity with the help of bold phrase means like uh, bold phrase we can also denote like the x i think letter this is also called vector quantity v c and so on and uh, and so on it means vector quantity can be denoted by arrow over a letter bar over a letter and bold face letter it is see i hope you understand the algebraical representation of a vector quantity any vector quantity can be represent uh, okay, sorry 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 any vector quantity can be denoted by arrow over a letter means this one this is called arrow over a letter and vector quantity also denoted by bar over a letter and bold face letter means like this bold face letter <coughs> okay so in this video uh, we will be discuss about uh, what is uh, sorry uh types of physical quantity vector quantity relational quantity and a scalar quantity and uh, discuss about first type that is vector quantity and uh, vector quantity which have magnitude specify direction and laws of vector addition is uh, the quantity which have this thing uh, then we called vector quantity and uh, we also discuss numerical representation of a vector quantity Symmetrical means a uh, line. Okay, so this is the form of geometry. Vector quantity, uh, vector quantity represent uh, with the help of geometry. That's why it is called geometrical representation of a vector quantity. Uh, and the arrow. Uh, and uh, this is our starting point and uh, tail or initial point and this is our final point h or terminal point okay and uh, here is the point any vector quantity always directed from tail to head okay and now and uh, representation of a vector quantity any vector quantity can be denoted by arrow bar and bold face letter okay so i hope uh, you understand all the video so that's all for today take care goodbye